welcome back children uh, today we will continue with the same chapter but i will give you the new topic that is multiplication of fractions okay and uh, for the multiplication of fractions we have to follow some rules and when we multiply a fraction by zero you will get the zero as the answer and when we multiply a fraction by one you will get the same answer fraction itself and when the order change answer does not change in multiplication right okay and the next is multiply a fraction by whole number how can we do that step one is write the whole number as a fraction you know what, uh, which one is that and multiply write the whole number whole number example whole number is five how can we write it as a fraction five by one nothing will happen there we need to write your denominator as one then it will become like fraction okay and the next is multiply the numerators after that you need to multiply the numerators and after that multiply the denominators and write you will get the answer product there right okay and the next i will give you one problem then you will understand multiply write the answer in the lowest term also okay here seven into one by two how can we multiply children i, I have told you we have first we need to change whole number seven as a fraction how seven by one into one by two and after that you need to multiply the numerator seven into one divided by one into two answer is seven by two see this it is improper fraction only and whenever you are getting improper fraction you need to change it into mixed number that is good and seven by two two threes are six and the remainder is one how can we write this three and one by two okay and the next one is eight into four by five here also eight is a whole number and so we need to change it in eight by one into four by five after that you need to multiply the numerators eight into four divided by one into five and that is 32 by five but 32 by 5 is a improper fraction you need to change say 5 6 are 13 so 6 and 2 by 5 okay and the next one is 2 by 7 of 14 2 by 7 of 14 means 2 by 7 into 14 okay so 2 by 7 into 14 and whenever you are getting whole number we need to change it into fraction how 2 by 7 into 14 by 1 after that you need to multiply the numerator 2 into 14 by 7 into 1 you will get what 14 twos are 28 by 7 equals 4 answer is 4 okay and the next one is 18 of 2 by 3 how 18 of means 18 into 2 by 3 and 18 divided by 1 whole number so 18 into 2 divided by 1 into 3 that is 36 by 3 36 by 3 is what 12 12 3 is 36 and 0 into this number 0 is multiplied by any fraction you will get 0 as the answer and the next one is 3 by 4 of 32 into 32 and 32 is a whole number so we need to divide by 1 after that and see children can we make it into the lowest term from here itself and how can we make it into lowest term either you need to that i teach you one method right for taking the lcm of a, uh, uh, numerator and denominator not lcm take the take the hcf of numerator and denominator after that you need to divide the numerator and denominator by hcf you will get the lowest term okay and one more method is what is that take the common factor see they check the common factor between the numerator and denominator then you can divide that common uh, that numbers by the common factor and see here numerator is 32 denominator is 4 and did you see any common factor between 4 and 32 did you see that is what 4 4 only right 4 is the common factor for 4 and 32 
how can we cancel this? 4 ones are 4 and divide 32 also by 4, you will get what? Yay. After that you need to write, multiply and write the answer here. 3 8s are 24. 24 by 1 equals 24. Is it clear? Okay. And here, here also 1 is multiplied by any fraction, you will get the same fraction itself. So answer is 3 by 5. And the next one. Huh? Multiplying uh, fractions by fractions. This same like only. First one whole number by fractions. This one is fraction by fraction. Here also you need to multiply the numerators 2 into 4. Then 3 into 5. And see 8 by 15. There is no common factor. So we need to try, write in the same like only. Because we can't make it into the lowest term. And this one is. 5 by 3 into 7 by 4. How can we? 5 into 7 by 3 into 4. That is 35 by 12. How can we do this? And 35 by 12 is improper fractionally, right? So, we need to divide. 12 twos are 24 and the remainder is 11. That is 2 and 11 by 12. Okay. And the next one is 5, in, 5 by 33 into 11 by 2. And the question was what? The, uh, multiply and write the answer in the lowest term only. So, we need to make it into the lowest term. Instead of taking the HCF, children, we can do it here, from here itself. You check any common factor between the numerator and denominator. Did you see any common factor? Here 11, here 33. 11, 3s are 33, right? So, 11 is a common factor, right? We can cancel from here itself. 11, 1s are 11. 11, 3s are 33. And tell me the balance, this thing in the numerator, 5 into 1 only, divided by 3 into 2. Answer is what? 5 by 6. Instead of taking the HCF, you can do it by easy method like. And see, this one. 8 and 8, common factors for numerator and denominator. We can divide both by 8. 8 ones are 8. 8 ones are 8. And here one more the, this thing is. Did you see any common factor between 5 and 15? Yes, 5 is the common factor there. So we need to divide. 5 ones are 5. 5 threes are 15. So the balance is what? 1 into 1 divided by 1 into 3. Answer is 1 by 3. Okay. And I will give you 3 homeworks also. Thank you children.